Penny. So Penny outfit for today is just a casual onesie tee with polka dot yellow pants and some sockies. We're going to do something different today um, than our regular routine because of the weather. Right now it's not going to rain, but it's going to rain during lunchtime. So we're going to do our grocery shopping right now. Yes, usually you play at your play mat at this time, but we're going to do some groceries to avoid the rain. Yes, because we'll be walking, and Mommy doesn't like walking in the rain. No, we don't. So this is her outfit for today. Yes. All day. Maybe we should do this more often in the morning. Let's just go out like early in the morning. Here on her toy. Very nice, very calm and quiet. I got my breakfast here. Caribbean passion smoothie. <laughs> so we have Penny on her bumbo. We bought the tray. I think I told you guys yesterday about it. Or the day before. So it's easier instead of her all the way here. She gets the tray and then the flowers on the tray. <laughs> yes, I like that. That's even better, isn't it? Yes. <laughs> You're too funny. Are you hiding behind the flowers? Oh, peekaboo. Oh, where's Penny? Oh. Someone's awake. Did you have a good nap? Let's turn this up. Yeah. Did you have a good nap? Nice and warm. Yeah, just scratch your head again. Mm. Mm. Uh. Oh, let's play with Violet. Mommy made some configuration but didn't download it yet. I can play with the old Violet. Oh, let's put you here. Like that. And put five of it right here, like that. Bitsy, bitsy spider climbed up the water spout. Down came. It's pretty cool. They're singing a name song. Yay, it says her name now. I just synced it. Um, so it says her name. Also add in her favorite food. There's like ethnic food too, like bibimbap and stuff like that, but they don't have no Chinese fried rice or Chinese rice or anything. They just had rice, so I just add rice. Ooh. I love you, Penelope. I love you, Penelope. Let's see what else does it say. I'm feeling silly, Penelope. Make a silly sound. Oh. Oh. Good that they constantly say her name so that she knows, but I think she knows her name. Penny! Or not. <laughs> Hello. <clears throat> Let's say hi to Isabel. Say hi, Isabel. Thank you for watching. Hi, Isabel. Yes. Thank you. Isabel. Is Isabel going to be your friend? Hmm? Is KK going to be your friend? Say, hi, KK. Shout out. Yes. As she um, spat up all over her. So I changed her into... Another t-shirt underneath, and I kind of really cold, so I put a thing on. Yeah, I kind of set to 21, but I find that still cold for some reason. Like, honestly, I don't feel 
I don't think it's 21. I don't know, but it's set to 21, but I feel cold. And 21 is pretty nice when you're outside for a 21. But I don't know. I think it's wrong. <laughs> yeah, I think it's wrong too. It's freezing. And we cannot set anything higher than that because the floor is laminate. And um, if the humidity gets there into it it'll start to buckle not buckle but like um expand up so it has like a bubble or something like that so oh i don't know it's not a win-win situation might as well wear some stack but i prefer to be cold than hot that's for sure because when you're cold you could always wear sweaters and hoodies to keep you warm but when you're hot, oh my god, you can only take off so much clothes and that's it. So I prefer to be cold than hot. Yeah. Just uh, finished writing a thank you card, actually. To my niece, Catherine, for the outfit that she bought. Um, penny on her hundredth day so i had to get to do that and i just finished writing that so i'm gonna mail it also finished uh cleaning disinfecting the counters and such too and cleaning off the table so, it's Pokio time. It's years off every day here in so i have a watch in pokyo i'm gonna oh, yeah. disinfect some stuff like her toys here her pacifier, some bottles, and my milk pump. She's been putting a lot of stuff in her mouth a lot lately, so we do bring them out, and sometimes it falls on the floor. So that's why we have to start disinfecting it mostly, maybe every other day, or when she does, like, you know, drop it on the floor. But I like to do it in batches, so when I do, I do a big batch of it. Sometimes I just pretend I'm doing my stuff like this. I'll stand here like this and then I'll just like take the camera and record her and then rewatch her when I edit the video just to see her reaction when she watches TV. It's so funny. She's so serious. My serious, serious little baby. Star. Yes, sometimes I would just point out words and say it in two languages or three so she could absorb it too. Yeah. Penelope, let's sing a song about you. B E N E L O P E 
you were not nap. Oh, did I tell you guys? We got the crib. Steve came home at uh, noon, and I guess they called us to come sign it. So he came and signed it and delivered it upstairs. It's a pretty big box for a crib. Like, it's huge. So I haven't opened it up yet. Maybe I'll do that later. We still need a mattress, so there's no rush of opening that we might get the mattress this week because she's getting a bit too big for her bassinet yeah yeah <gasps> yeah missy missy why'd you nap why don't you nap <laughs> no you don't nap why don't you nap? Okay, so I just took out all the pieces out from the box and they put the building instruction on this. I don't know if it's a good idea or a bad idea because right now, every time I need to build something, I have to look at this and it's annoying because it's a huge board. So I can't see what is going on. Okay, I'm gonna show you. I'm gonna make some corn, but um, I love this recipe. It's the horseradish. I'm um, sorry, horseradish corn um, spread. So what I have here is some melted butter, or you can use room temperature butter. But we keep our butter in the fridge, so I have to like soften it. Horseradish, radish, horseradish, parsley, and mustard. So I have all the ingredients in there and all you do is just mix it up, mash it up, mash, mash, mash. Okay, once it's all mixed up, you place your corn in on an aluminum foil and you just spread this around like, all over the corn. You can be messy here because we are going to wrap the corn up, so don't worry about it. So just, you know, let it roll around if it needs to roll around. Make sure you just spread it all over the corn, all sides, just like that. And you just do the same for all the corns that you have. So I'm going to make three, like one and a half each for us. Now, once you've done all your corn, wrap them up into little sausages or whatever that is. You preheat the oven to 375 and you bake it for 40 to 45 minutes. So I am. I already have a pork loin in there baking, and I just place these in there with it together, and dinner is already cooking. We use this toaster oven like crazy instead of our regular oven here, <laughs> because it's just me and Steve right now, and. The toaster oven is more than enough um, that we need to use. Plus, it saves energy too. Instead of using such a huge oven down there, we prefer to use this. And it works. And I live off of it. Like, like I don't even know how long we had it for. I think we had it for five, six years. And I believe it was my mother-in-law and my father-in-law, Steve's parents, that bought it for us. 
sure yes that they bought that for us. Okay, while I have the oven, oven, bleh. while I have dinner in the oven and Penny is sleeping, taking her nap, finally she would not nap like at 6 o'clock, so at 7.30, you know, she's over exhausted, so she's napping now. But the thing is, I started building the crib in her room while she was awake, so I'm going to attempt building the crib. Penny sleeps in the room, which is going to be pretty hard. So I have the crib going on, as you can see, and Penny just sleeping there, so good luck to me. Who's up? Guess who's up? Penelope's up. That was just only half an hour, so I moved everything out here. So I'm gonna do it out here while she plays with her garden, jingle garden. Guess what time it is, baby? <laughs> yeah, it's not, not, not. Sleepy time. Sleepy time. Sleepy time. Time to go to bed. Alright. Okay, Penny. Good night.